So this is the new Ruxu 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. I was not interested in reviewing this, but I wanted to see what they updated. And they did promise my viewers and myself that they would have a low temperature charging protection BMS. And this is pretty much the same BMS as they were using previously, but it is now updated with a temperature sensor. And we're gonna open this up a bit more and see what that looks like. They're also using a new type of lithium iron phosphate cell and the packaging is a bit better. But obviously you get what you pay for as you can see. So this is why I like opening up the cheaper batteries to show people the difference between a UL listed battery and something like this. And they're also using the same 7 gauge wire, the same balance lead, but they have different bus bars. These look a bit thicker than the last ones. This is pretty much a capped on tape battery. Did you guys notice how much capped on tape we have holding this thing together? Even the cells are put together with capped on tape. And it does work, but if you have a high vibration environment, I would not recommend any battery that is held together with tape. And we're going to remove the B negative. And now we're going to check out this little temperature sensor. And here it is. That's interesting. I've not seen one that looks like this. It looks like it's supposed to be mounted to a terminal, but they just slapped it on with some glue and capped on tape. Also, something else to notice is on the old board, they were soldered on, but this one has screw terminals just like the Lion Energy. I bet this is probably made by the same company that makes the Lion Energy BMS, but I'm not sure. I can't see any part numbers on here. It has similar size FETs and everything else looks very similar. Now we're gonna test with some cold water if the low temp charging protection actually works. First, we're gonna plug in the balance lead to activate the BMS. We got positive, we have negative, and we have 10 amps going into the batteries. Now we're gonna stick the temperature probe into some cold water and see if the charging decreases. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> It dropped to zero amps, so it actually works. All right, let's heat up the probe and see what happens. And look at that, it just started charging again. That's cool, it's very instant, I like that. It's similar to the Lion Energy. It looks like it, performs in a similar fashion, and let's see if it does it again. And look at that, it drops to zero. So the low temperature charging protection works. I also noticed on the old BMS, they didn't have the leads glued down. Even the high temperature sensor for the FETs has glue and on the temperature sensor lead and on the balance plug. So they did upgrade some of that as well. And these cells feel really light. I don't know what they're using. So for this 1280 watt hour pack, we're getting 7.33 kilograms. And that gives us a specific energy of 174 watt hours per kilogram, which is incredible for this chemistry. Every single year, it seems to keep rising. And I think that's why Tesla has a partnership with CATL, a lithium iron phosphate manufacturer, is because they've invented some of the manufacturing methods and they're not telling anyone how they're doing it. But these numbers for a pack that can last 3,000 to 5,000 cycles is very impressive and probably what they're gonna be putting into the Model 3 because this is the same specific energy as early NMC variants. Um, nowadays, those are much higher in specific energy, but it's amazing that we're able to pull these numbers with lithium iron phosphate. Now let's discuss if this battery is worth your time or your money. Ruxu does fix problems when I complain, but I personally would not buy a battery from them. I think that they're doing a better job now, but I would prefer a UL listed high quality battery and it's not slapped together with capped on tape. And even though the cheap lithium iron phosphate batteries have high quality cells that will last a very, very long time, that's going to be the last point of failure. With these kinds of batteries, usually it's the BMS that fails first, it's the balance plug, it's the conductor's connection if they do a bad crimp over here. Um, usually it's something around the cells, but usually the cells are not the point of failure for most of these cheap batteries. So yeah, something to point out when people say, oh, these have high quality cells. It's like, yeah, but is everything else around it high quality? If something's connected with capped on tape and you put it in a vehicle and it's vibrating, do you think that that's gonna last for years and years? I don't think so. It might, I mean, some of these might actually last a long time, but who knows. Another update is that the new Ruxu can be connected in series up to 48 volts. Previously, people were confined to only using 12 volts and putting their batteries into parallel, which is not that great if you wanna run a 24 or 48 volt inverter. So they have really redesigned this because the dependent variable is the voltage rating of the FETs. 
Also, I just noticed that there's a conformal coating on the top here, and I don't think this one has that. Yeah, there is no conformal coating on this one. So they really redesigned this BMS. That is like the biggest upgrade here. So technically Ruxu did fulfill their promise. It did take a whole year and I'm not sure what the quality control is like. They might have made this battery really nice because I'm a YouTuber. So take this review with a grain of salt. I like doing these teardown videos because I can show you guys what budget batteries are and the big difference compared to if you spend more money on a battery. And I feel like most of the reasons that I mentioned are pretty obvious and I think it's a good lesson to learn. And honestly, nowadays you can just buy your own cells even these high specific energy lithium iron phosphate ones. And then you just add your own BMS in about 10 minutes and you have something that beats all of these cheap batteries for like half the price. So yeah, check out my website if you wanna learn more about that. We have lots of raw cell deals. I actually made a new page for them. But yeah, I don't know. I think this is a great lesson for my viewers to know what they're paying for when they spend less money on batteries. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.